Hey, hi there you guys, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly January 2021 Psychic Tarot card and Oracle card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. And I would check out your rising and your moon and your Venus for a more complete picture. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. And today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite Radiant deck, a Vice Versa Tarot card, a Crystal card from the Stone deck, and an Angel Answers card by Radley Valentine. So ask a question, because you're going to get an answer at the end. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Eight of Pentacles. Gemini, this is Virgo energies, Earth energy. This is being dedicated on what you, you're passionate about. Now, that's how you're going to be making your wealth. Being conscientious. You're being dedicated. Your concentration and your position is required. And you know about how to go achieving what you want. And as long as you're sincere and persevere, and then your efforts will succeed. This is a new venture that will be successful because you are training yourself intensively with a clear goal in mind. Maybe you're not feeling anything except work. But your sureness of purpose is going to guarantee success and your craftsmanship will be rewarded and you're going to have an increase in income. There's opportunity and respect and there's a big payout if you finish. This is a talent card allied with the energy of light of the eight. You can turn a skill or a talent into profession, or this is money earned through such a skill. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Number four of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Emperor. This can represent an Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Aries could be in your chart, or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is a card of control and stability. This is could be someone's father or someone father-like, like a boss or a mentor. They're rather proud and they can be intimidating and they can be hard to please because they have the highest standards and they're very confident. You may have heard them say things like, been there and done that, and they command respect. The primary principle is authority and leadership. This is a Divine Masculine card. It's power and protection and realization. This is a great person. They're a beneficent ruler. They wield supreme authority and worldly power. And they have the right to rule. They're a solid leader, a natural born leader. So look for issues related to authority. This is a protective male force, especially of the home and of domestic harmony. And they tell us that what is worth having is worth fighting for. This is realizing your goals or reaching out to begin, and you may be required to take charge. The Eight of Pentacles with the Emperor is working on control and stability. It's learning to be authoritative. These are high standards. It's dedication and passion that you control, or you're working for someone who is very controlling. This can be your boss or your father. This can be big government. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number six of pentacles, Gemini. This is moon and Taurus, earth energy. This is about balance. As you can see, there is the scales there could be representing a, 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 a Libra or balance. There is harmony, and this has to do with the give and take of money. It's a friend or a family member or someone gives you money to help out. It's giving and receiving. Um, maybe someone thinks they're getting breadcrumbs or they're being shortchanged with the balance. This can also, in a love reading, represent 
partners that are kind and generous towards each other. It is a good omen regarding money. It can be one-way charity. There is a fairness here, and it's using your abundance to help others. It's a feeling of relief at having received assistance. It's karma, cause and effect. The Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles is working towards a fair exchange. There's a lot of generosity and guidance. Your fourth card. This is the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number 20 of the Major Arcana, Judgment. This can represent a Scorpio. Scorpio could be in your chart or someone else's. This has to do with an awakening, a renewal. This is major spiritual awakening, beginnings. That is the angel Gabriel. This may have long-term effects. It could be an epic decision. It's a rebirth, a release, and a review. There's revelations. It's a major turning point. It's a evaluation of past actions and of the consequences of those actions. It's legal judgments in your favor and a change of consciousness, which is now on the verge of blending with the universal. It's coming to terms with yourself. It's going down to rise up. It's being accountable for your actions. It's truths revealed and mysteries unraveled. This is a very special moment in life, a change that is very important. It's rising up and seeking new possibilities. It's receiving a calling, your true calling. It's an awakening, a rebirth, a second chance, a second lease on life, and it's being deeply inspired and uplifted. It's being awakened and reborn, summoned to a higher awareness, inspired by big ideas. This is a new phase, and you're rising above it all. It's getting good news. It can be sudden changes, reward, end of an old way of life. It is a cycle that is finished. It's a time to seek a new direction and to make adjustments that reflect who you truly are. This is a positive card, symbolizes regeneration and rebirth. After a period of confusion and confinement, maybe you felt dead in your old life, like 2021 was pretty rotten. Now you have a unique opportunity to enliven yourself and your environment by making appropriate changes. It's a time of freedom to be yourself, and you're ready to step into a new phase of your maturing process. You're on your way up, and you're letting things grow at a steady pace without hurrying the process. You could also be getting some important news that will prove beneficial. The Eight of Pentacles with the Judgment card can represent a supervisor. Also, your dedication has been awakened. You've been called. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Two of Pentacles. Gemini. This is Earth Energy. Capricorn. In Jupiter in Capricorn. Now, this is the ability to juggle two situations at one time and achieve success. This is handling the ups and downs of life with grace and ease. Ebb and flow. This is following the money. Or you may need to travel or even move house to take advantage of material opportunities. This is a shift in your life's focus. It's new facts and results come to the foreground and they present you with a new perspective. This has to do with changes, multitasking, juggling. This is the I build card. This is trying to balance resources. This is a shift. It has to do with material concerns and being incredibly busy. And this is infinite possibilities here. And you do find new results when your life undergoes this change, so it's so it's it's normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets. You could be feeling unsure or unstable of yourself. You're trying to keep a balance. And life is going to be moving fast and you'll be managing your priorities. The Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles is investing more time into what you are passionate about. 
The emperor with the six of pentacles is large investments, stock market. Could be a boss or maybe even a large government institution that gives you a work bonus or is charitable and provides assistance. The emperor with the judgment card is the point of change of your goals and methods. It can be a graduation. It's the end of a cycle of growth and then it is recognized. The Emperor with the Two of Pentacles is authority, balancing decisions or priorities. It's adapting to change. It's being protective and controlling of how you handle things. The Six of Pentacles with the Judgment card is reaching out to make things okay. It's not accepting the way it is, and you want things to be different. The Six of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles is being busy with work. It can be part-time charity work, or feelings of being shortchanged. The judgment with the two of pentacles, that's two twos. Judgment, two tens, break down to a two. Two twos are a represent a chord. This has to do with creative work. Maybe it has to do with the entertainment industry or hospitality or catering. It can be a resurrection of things that you have been working on. Here's your card from the Vice Versa deck by Lunia Weatherstone. This is the Queen of Swords, Air Energy. This is you, Gemini. Could be a male or a female in a general reading. Air Energy, Air uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This has to do with the outer self. Arrayed in silver armor, a queen sits upon a roughly carved granite throne. Its massiveness contradicts the airy surroundings. How can something that commands such gravity dwell among the clouds? The queen's unflinching gaze holds an answer. The power of her intellect can defeat any obstacle, even the laws of gravity. The eagle wings on her breastplate and the pale blue of her mantle proclaim her the mistress of the skies. This is not a woman who suffers fools lightly, and her patience can wear thin quite quickly. But this doesn't mean she has no heart. She is loyal unto death and to those that she loves, and once you're admitted into her inner circle, she is a true friend and ally. Unlike the Knight of Swords who hides his emotions under a closed helm, the Queen takes on the world face to face. Here's your crystal from the Stone Deck by Andrew Smart, and this is Garnet. Garnets are deep pomegranate to fiery red stones that have wrists that have lit wrists for centuries. Garnets come in many forms, like almadine, grossulor, and spessetine, to name three. Gorgeous garnets gush with positive vibes and are the perfect sparkly accessory to an I got this attitude. Who needs it? Writers who aren't writing, painters who aren't painting, sexual beings who aren't sexing. Where to put it? Any place you want to make something be something, be it art, Love or dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> when to use it? When you feel like the real you is getting lost in the sometimes shallow, often materialistic priorities of likes, of a likes-driven culture. And it says, get into your depth, Gemini. Garnet, get into your depth. And now, here's your Angel Answers card by Radley Valentine. And the answer is, take action, Gemini. Take action. The time has come to take action. Your angels are waiting for you to take the next step so they can assist you along the path to your dreams. Do away with your procrastination and uncertainty. In your heart, you know what to do. Get going. Whether you're focused upon career, relationships, or some other topic, the, film, the fulfillment of your wishes isn't going to just fall into your lap. You must be actively focused on the pursuit of what you want. Thanks, you guys, Gemini. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.